guys, our topic for today is all about diagnosing computer system. If you want to know what is it, just keep on watching. Diagnosing computer system. Basic troubleshootings. We are six different types of basic troubleshooting. The trial and error, check cables, hardware settings, notice changes, and event viewer, and also the make notes. First is the trial and error. When you find the faulty components in your computer, check it with the other computers so that you can make sure whether the fault is in the components or not. Next is the check cables. In case of any device failure, check all the cables of your computer such as data cables, power cables, internet circuit cables, and make sure that these are plugged in and working fine. Hardware settings. Check the hardware settings in the CMOS and in the device manager of the system and make all the device up to date and all the cards are plugged in properly. Next is notice changes. When you notice the software or hardware errors in your computer, determine what was changed before the problem occurred. Event viewer. In event viewer, you will find the error or warning message associated with the faulty hardware or software. Make notes. Troubleshooting is a big learning option and we can learn a lot when we face any kind of troubleshooting in our computer. Make notes including the error message and their solutions so that you have a record on how a certain problem occur and how did you solve it. Common PC problem and solution, we have here a 10 step. So if you want to know what is the 10 step is, just keep on watching. First is check the POST. POST stands for power on self-test. This is generally the first or second things that appears on a computer after turning on the power. This appears before the operating system begins to load. The POST will display any problem found in hardware that makes the computer enable to boot. POS may also display problems with hardware that allows the computer to boot, but not operate at its full capacity during the operating or operation. Second is notice the load time of the OS or operating system. A longer than usual load time may indicate errors in the hard drive. Third is notice any graphics problem once the OS has loaded. Reduced graphics may indicate driver failures or hardware failures with graphic cards. Fourth is perform an auditory test. An auditory test is an orthodox but still effective way for judging how a computer is working. With the computer on and running, Play and descend length audio files, usually above 30 seconds. And if the audio, audio is choppy or slow, it usually means that the processor is working at an elevated level or there is not enough RAM to, ru to run all programs loading. Changing the startup sound is a great way to apply this test. Next step is check any newly installed hardware. Many operating systems, especially Windows, can conflict with new drives. The driver may be badly written or it may be conflict with other process. Windows will usually notify you about devices that are causing a problem or have a problem. To check this, use the device manager this can be accessed by entering the control panel, clicking the system icon, clicking the hardware tab, and clicking on device manager. Use this to check and arrange the properties of hardware. Check any newly installed software. Software may require more resources than the system can provide. Chances are that if a problem begins after the software starts, the software is causing it. If the problem appears directly upon startup, it may be cause of software that starts automatically on boot. 
Next is check RAM and CPU consumption. A common problem is the choppy or sluggish system. If a system is choppy, it is good practice to see a program is consuming more resources than the computer can provide. An easy way to check this is to use the Tax Manager. Right-click right on the Tax Bar, select Tax Manager, and click the Process or Process tab. The eighth step is listen to the computer. If the hard drive is scratching or making loud noise, shut down or shut off the computer and have a professional diagnose the hard drive. So, listen to the CPU fan. This comes on a high speed when the CPU is working hard and can tell you when the computer is working beyond the capacity. Ninth step is run a virus and malware scan perform a problems can caused by malware on the computer running a virus scan can cause any problems use the commonly updated virus scanners such as norton antivirus or avast or antivirus the last step is check for the problem in safe mode to enter safe mode, tap F8 repeatedly during the post. This work on the most systems. If the problem priest the safe mode, it is a fair B that the operating system itself is to blame. Commonly troubleshooting for computer units. First, double check the power connection. Second, voltage regulator and power supply could cause power failure in the computer units. Third, check the power cords and cable connectors in your computer unit. Fourth, unseated card, loose card could cause malfunction. And the last, check the boot sequence configuration in the advanced BIOS setup. Things to look for if a PC is connected to the internet or network. First, check the cable connecting to the network card into a network hub. Second, check the back of the computer to see if the network card lights is on. Third, check the network cable, use cable tester. And last, check the network hub, use multi-tester.